All right, so Pixel Experience Android 12 official for the Poco X3 Pro, which works on YU and Dima both. It was released yesterday. I've installed it. One of my late testers has installed it as well. We've been testing it since then. What is good? What is bad? Since the time it got the official tag name, should you install it or not? Is there good promise, good smoothness that was there in the unofficial builds or not? Well, all those things are what we're going to answer today in today's review of Pixel Experience Android 12. We've used it for 24 hours. We have the numbers for you. So before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, please join us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and we have more than 1500 people on Telegram. If you want any help or you want people with similar devices, you can join us on Telegram and if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash, let's get going. Now, before we actually start the video, a small request for you guys. If you look at the numbers on the screen, more than 78% of the views that we get are coming from people who have not subscribed. It's a humble request. If you like the content, please subscribe, please share it with your friends. It doesn't cost you anything and it is just going to give you amazing content that we put out every single day. Now, let's see what we have here. We have Pixel Experience Official Devices Poco X3 Pro, YU and Bima. Android version is 12, which is a good thing. This is a Christmas gift it was released on the 25th of december 2021 you can donate the developer from here and you have the screenshots here we will be covering the rom so no need of screenshot now as far as the change log is concerned initial official release december security patch use tag s for device qualcomm vendor se linux added ota support for next build that is good you won't have a problem doing ota updates on this rom and some improvements based on OSS includes G apps, firmware 12.0, SE Linux is enforcing, safety net should be passed, don't PM the developer, report bug on whatever their dedicated group is. So that is Telegram we are talking about. Now let's go ahead and talk about the ROM. Now from the unofficial build to the official build, some things have changed, but as a whole, this particular ROM for this device has not changed. Uh, the performance numbers and all is something we will talk about, but let's see here. The moment you boot into Pixel Experience, you will see that you have a very basic wallpaper which you will get on Pixel devices. So that is present. The ROM is very, very snappy, very, very smooth. You have a bunch of icons over here. At the bottom, you have the Google search pill and you do have the assistant shortcuts over here. And if you swipe from the top to bottom, you have these quick tiles which are colored in the influence of Monet UI. And that is working fine as well. Right now, you have very few tiles over here. So if you go to the edit menu, you will see that you have these privacy tiles over here. Okay, so this screen recorder that we are looking at, just give me a minute here. Okay, so go to screen recorder. Right, so this is not the built-in screen recorder. So this particular build doesn't actually have a screen recorder, which is a little weird, but that's fine as this is an initial official build. Maybe in the later updates, they will go ahead and include it. So not many quick tiles over here, not many features. You do have the reboot menu over here. You do have the edit option as we just saw, and you have a shortcut to go to settings, which works very, very smooth, very, very cohesive. Now I do find a improvement in terms of speed over here. Earlier it was a little slow, a little smooth, but now I think this is almost perfect as far as the balance of uh, speedy animation and smoothness is concerned. This is very, very smooth, cohesive and jitter free. That is something nice. Now to the left, of course, you have Google feed, which works absolutely fine. No stutters, no jitters. Even while scrolling, if you go to the home screen, it works absolutely fine. So you know you have no problem in the Google feed. Now, as far as the apps are concerned, Pixel Experience is a very basic and clean ROM. It doesn't come with any bloatware. You do get the basic camera application, which does the job just fine. As you can see over here, front and back cameras are working, no portrait mode, nothing. Also the screen, you know, the app icon animations on the screen are pretty good. They work really, really well, even if we open the Play Store. As you can see, this is really, really snappy, really, really smooth, and that is nice. So if you press and hold on the home screen, you will get your access to the Pixel Launcher, which also allows you to rotate the home screen. You can enable or disable suggestions from here. You have overview suggestions, swipe to access the Google app, you can enable, disable that. You do have the option of at a glance, and then you have add app icons to home screen. So very, very basic amount of customizations in this particular launcher. Now you do have your standard Android 12 widgets 
and uh, yeah they are working just fine apart from this you have wallpaper and style in which you do have themed icons so if you go to the option of change wallpaper you do get access to curated culture which does have some new wallpapers every now and then which is always a good thing and if you go ahead and apply it you will see that monet ui comes into action and it works absolutely fine themed icons look gorgeous as always in any particular given rom now if you further go over here and you go to the multitasking menu you do have a couple of op options over here like screenshot and then you also have the option of select so both of them are working fine if you press and hold on any particular application you can copy text from here and if you press at the top you have the option of split screen let's see here so you don't have the free form option which you see in some custom roms obviously this is pixel experience so you will have basic android features available no additional customization so if you go to settings you go to about phone and you go to the android version if you tap on android version and take the clock to 12 am or 12 pm you of course have the android 12 easter egg which works like a charm the google play system update is 12 december security patch it does come with the perf kernel sc linux status is enforcing so no problems there whatsoever now further down if you look at system you have languages and input you have live translate which has become a default feature in android 12 now you have some date and time customization very very basic one you can back up your data to your google drive or your gmail system update so they have fixed this so hopefully ota should be working fine we will see that in the next video and then you have gestures in gestures you don't really have the three finger screenshot you have system navigation one handed mode press and hold power button that action and prevent ringing vibrate and quickly open the camera you do have the option to set your rules over here which is always a good addition if you know how to use it but apart from this you know moving on if you actually go to say security you do have pixel imprint which is basically fingerprint that works absolutely fine you don't really have the option of face unlock so that is something that is missing in all android 12 roms now right so if you actually go to advanced over here you will see that the device is encrypted because i did not flash dfe you do have things like smart lock available over here got it on body detection trusted places trusted devices these are all android 11 features which have matured now and they work just fine all the security dashboard is present over here and it works absolutely fine now if you actually go to important features and functions like notifications notification history you can see over here notification history is present and it works absolutely fine you do have the bubbles option which is supported by some applications and it works fine but it is not there on whatsapp yet i don't know what they are waiting for you do have the option to customize notifications on the lock screen like none notifications sensitive ones or few ones which you like you do have the option of blink light one good thing over here in this particular rom is when i was charging the device not only the charging speeds are decent i also noti noticed that uh, the notification led the charging led which is white in color that is present and that works absolutely fine so if you go to the battery section you don't really have thermal profiles you don't have a game mode in this particular rom even android 12's gaming dashboard is still not present i really wish these guys should implement that now the battery usage ui is different and as you can see over here we have been using the device since like this morning we did charge it completely phone has been idle for 16 hours screen on time has been 35 minutes we are still at 83 percent battery so the battery life looks very promising but remember this device does come with a 5000 milliamp hour battery so that will give you decent battery life you do have the option of turn on light when charging battery percentage so these options are available now moving on if you go to display you will have your basic stuff but you also have refresh rate in which you have 90 hertz as well so 90 hertz should give you a good balance between smoothness and battery backup that is neat and 120 hertz always on mode is not going to harm your battery that much because i've been using it on almost all the roms all the devices that support you do get like half an hour to one hour less of screen on time and for me that doesn't really matter if it matters for you well you can go to 90 hertz it's avail if available or 60 to 120 variable now even in the sound menu you don't really have a lot of customization so even though this is official pixel experience android 12 for the poco x3 pro you still get the basic goodies with some features missing here and there but yes it is rock solid stable it is working fine the calling wi-fi calling fingerprint scanner all those features are 
are working okay the camera if you install gcam it works fine by the way as you guys have been requesting there is a dedicated video on google camera or gcam coming for all the three devices very very soon so wait for that but as far as pixel experience is concerned the experience is rock solid pretty smooth no major bugs over here let's go ahead and talk about the important factors like safety net drm info and performance numbers so if you talk about safety net as mentioned in the notes it passes right off the box that means if you go to the google play store and you go ahead and check for device certification the device will show as certified that is good if you talk about drm info widevine l1 is present and it works absolutely okay now the important part benchmark number right so the Thermal throttling test doesn't really look that promising at all because it is average score of 180 to 210 GIPS and CPU throttle to 81% of its max performance. Now remember this is perf kernel we are talking about so it's not going to be highly performance oriented. It is going to be a universal kernel which will allow you to do something on both the ends. I did try gaming and 60 FPS gaming on this device was absolutely okay. Even in hot drops I did not have any major stutters and jitters. I did not record the gameplay, but yes, casual gaming was just fine. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Geekbench here real quick. So, in Geekbench, the numbers are similar, like mediocre numbers. Nothing too high, nothing too low. 757 single core, 2393 multi core. And if we go to Antutu benchmark over here, 522,985. Now, this is around 40 to 50,000 points less. So, you know, as I said, Perf kernel is not focused towards performance. It is focused towards giving you decent performance and decent battery life. And in my opinion, as a daily driver for banking applications, for watching movies, for making calls and receiving calls and reliable network connectivity and having an Android 12 custom ROM with Gcam, this is a splendid ROM. It will serve as a good daily driver if you're not looking for hardcore performance. Let me know your thoughts on this particular update and this particular video. And remember, please subscribe if you've not. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.